Welcome back to Out of Left Field, presented by the Lehigh Valley Health Network. Thank you all for coming back for more Out of Left Field. 2023 District 2 AAA Shot Put Champion Ashley Bueso is happy to share her story with us. And hopefully it will inspire others to try new things, embrace their talents, and find happiness within themselves. Ashley Bueso has tried a number of sports, including swimming, water polo, and wrestling. But track and field remains her favorite, specifically the shot put. What came first, the success or the just lo loving love of the sport, or kind of hand in hand? Loving the sport, yeah. actually, yeah. I really, really enjoyed like throwing shot and everything. Just being able to like see how far you can actually throw it, because yeah. it's like such a heavy like object, you know. Like <laughs> you, not many people can throw the shot and be like, yeah, like I'm chucking that over 35 feet whatever it's like nothing but it's like dude that's almost our our shot it's like nine almost nine pounds yeah. it's like 8.6 or something it's like dude there's a lot of technique that goes into it and i feel like field events don't get a lot of no, like yeah. love i miss here boy so during the interview and i think she describes the shot as a happy object Later, while listening to her interview again, I can tell she actually said heavy. But at the time, I asked her why she thought the shot was a happy object. Bueso didn't correct me or stare at me like, who said happy, what are you talking about? She smiled a big smile and said, It, it feels like an happy object. Yeah. yeah, I do. I really do love like seeing just like the shot put and just seeing the circle in the pit, and just the gravel, feeling it crunch <laughs> beneath my feet and everything. Even though it's a few days before the state championships, there's a lightness in the air at this practice. There's a joy. Bueso says she used to be a very stressed out person, but she's recently found a way to relax. She says it's a day-to-day -day battle. With her shades and smile, I'd say she's winning today. And that happy laid-back attitude has helped her win a lot for the Hazleton Area High School Lady Cougar track and field team. I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, you can throw the shot while mad or just like throw any of your events while ma like upset or like angry. And I just, I, I don't know how they do it. It's <laughs> like, it, whenever I do try and do that, I feel like I'm getting it too much in my head and I'm like so upset and I'm trying to put that into the ball and it's just not working for me. You need to be happy. Yeah, I need to be at least like calm or like just out of my head yeah. and just, you know, just have an upright yeah. attitude about it because if I put myself in a negative space, then it's just going to feel really bad. Yeah, you know, that anger that you can have can be harnessed into like this really powerful energy, but I just don't have like the conversion for yeah. that. Bueso's path hasn't been paved with gold, but through hard work, she sure earned enough of it. And maybe more importantly, she's found a way to enjoy the journey no matter where it takes her. When she first came on the scene as a freshman, okay, she had, she had raw strength, not like out of the gym strength, but she had a natural strength. So working with her in the, in the gym was very easy because where everybody else was like pumping 30, she's over at 100 pounds. I'm thinking, <laughs> oh, this is, this is, I said, this is great. This is going to be our secret weapon, Ashley, because nobody knew of Ashley Boiso in freshman year. The secret got out during Boiso's sophomore year. Hazleton area throwing coach Nick Gaudiano helped Boiso add technique to her raw strength, and she ended up winning the District 2 AAA Shot Put Championship while booking her first trip to states. Boiso tried wrestling as a junior and suffered an ankle injury that kept her out of track and field until around the middle of the season. Gaudiano says she missed a return trip to states by five inches. That injury, how tough was that? And was it hard to stay positive throughout the Oh, definitely, because I just felt like I was like wasting my time being injured. Like, you know, you're just sitting there, just like recuperating, like your yeah. body needs to recuperate, obviously. But it's like, you just wish to be out there. And then when I did come back, it was just, I didn't want, I didn't see the results that I like wanted to see because you just had a great season sophomore year. Then you're like back at like zero again and then you had to like come back from it. So it's like, it was really, really hard. Like just very sad. Boiso kept putting in a lot of hard work. How have you stayed consistent with what you've been doing this year and, and throughout your career? Just gotta do it. You just gotta keep showing up. I always like do this thing where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna quit. Like, it's, like I can't do it today. Like it's whatever, but it's just, it genuinely is a day to day battle. You just have to fight your fight today. Maybe you can't fight it as well as you did the other day, but at least you make it through it. Like at the end of the day, you're still resting in your bed. And you're like, you know what? I did something today. Like, good job. 
All that hard work paid off during her senior season in 2023. Then her senior year, she worked hard and she went on a tear. She won every Wyoming Valley Conference meet. We had three invitationals, which she won in grand style because she PR'd at one. And she also won in two, she won a discus. So, and now that brought us to today, to States. Bueso finished 10th at States and may still try to make the track and field team at Temple University, where she plans to major in engineering. Engineering has a lot of math that I, math and arts that I didn't realize it had until I, um, took this class, it's like the PSU engineering, intro to engineering class, and there was like a lot of graphing and like, you know, just design in general, and I was like, yeah, you know what, this is like actually really cool, like it takes like the art that I love and like my math skills that I'm a pretty old guy at, but you know, just put them both together and you know, you get the engineering. That love of art started at a young age with painting and drawing. Art is a really hard skill, like you can just never get it. But um, I used to have like this, um, cause I'm a Capricorn, so I drew like a little version of myself as a little um, goat, goat mermaid. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that was like my little character throughout the years of growing up, my little goat mermaid. No, I do like think that every person should be well-rounded. Um, like, you know, have like an interest in art and also have that interest in math, like, you know, do sports or do like a band or something, you know, get yourself out there and like try new things. If, cause it, eventually you'll find something that you'll really, really like. And you know, it's like whenever someone is like, oh no, I can't do art. Like, it's like, it's so bad. Like, I just like, I just can't. It's like, you know, you could just try. Like art is anywhere. Art is everything. Like you're taking photos on the street of like that one tree that you really like, that's art. Like just like hearing the wind blow through something, that's art. Like any music, anything that you like, it can be art. Do you think shot put is art? Hell yeah. Yeah? yeah. Yes. Just like, you know, hearing the gravel just crunch. Like after that shot is thrown, that's music. Music yeah. to the ears. Ashley Bueso is an artist, an aspiring engineer, a track and field champion, and so much more. How else would you describe it? I'm a cool person. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm pretty solid. There's a joy in the air at this practice, and Boiso hopes you can feel it too. What do you hope people take away from this? Take away from this interview. Give the, the me, field events think, more think. credit? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> please do give the field events more credit. And just like, you know, believe in yourself more. Give yourself more credit because, you know, you lived every day that you lived. <laughs> believe in yourself. That's all you can say. Coming up next, we strap on some skates and head to a practice with the Susquehanna Valley Derby Vixens. Plus, we'll try some octopus meatball chips. I'm kidding about the skates, but I'm serious about the chips.